Fashion blogs, food blogs, travel blogs, music blogs. With so many different options, do you have the best graphics to help your blog stand out? Hello world, Mike Ploger here again with Visme and today we're discussing blog graphics. Visme itself has the templates and the tools to create blog graphics that will bring back readers again and again. One of, if not the most essential element to any blog is the graphics. They're what draw new viewers in and what keep usual readers coming back. Sure, your content is arguably just as important, but graphics are a nice visual break from that information. A long running successful blog will have the same appearance for all their posts. They've not only developed a brand, but a template the author can come back to for each new post. After a few runs with your blog, you should have a set design in place as well. In this video, I'm going to cover successful design strategies, proven templates, and take you through editing on Visme's website so you can get started right away. Shall we? The first thing to consider with your graphics is the sizing. While you have full control over the graphics in the blog itself, when you share the blog on your social media, you do not. Understanding each platform and the optimal sizing for each is very important. Typically, it's best to create the same graphic in a variety of sizes so you can share it properly. This graphic here next to me is a great tool to remember the most popular sizes for each channel. Facebook is 1200 by 630 pixels. Twitter is 800 by 400 pixels or any size that's a two to one ratio. Instagram feed is 1080 by 1080, where stories are 1080 by 1920. And Pinterest is a little off the beaten path as the best sizing is 735 by 1102 pixels. But again, don't forget you have the freedom to make the graphics within the blog itself any size that you'd like. One way to ensure high quality, top notch graphics is with a designer, but why waste the money? I have the tips for you right now that will enable you to design graphics just like the pros. For profitable brand recognition and customer retention, you must create a strong brand identity. A viewer should be able to separate your graphics from the rest at first sight. This is why you want to build a few initial graphics and then use them as templates moving forward. Some of the most successful Instagram profiles use this trick, and here's another example from a Pinterest account. Different designs, but same colors, fonts, and branding throughout. You wouldn't notice from one post, but when you visit the page and see them as a whole, it creates a very cohesive look. So not only is it a better experience for your viewer, but it makes your editing and design process so much quicker and easier. Rather than brainstorming a different look for each post, you have the foundation already laid down for you. Start with one of your previous posts and just make minor adjustments to subtly change the overall look. You won't believe how much time this will save and it will have a positive impact on your following as well. If you've watched our videos before, you've heard us say stick to two to three colors max in a graphic. While that bears true for your blog graphics, we highly recommend making one of those colors dominant, taking up 90% or more of the colorful space. You can still incorporate your brand colors, but pick one and roll with it as the main color while the others are just slight accents. This template here is a good example. The faded midnight blue takes up nearly the entire image while white is being used for the text and there's just a hint of yellow to bring it all together. Using stock images in your posts is fine, so long that they are unique. Don't use stock images that you've seen before. Don't use stock images that look like ones you've seen before. Find rarely seen pictures that match your purpose, brand, and colors. Visme plug, there's more than one and a half million stock images available on our website right now, so I'd encourage you to take a look. Just saying. Incorporating graphics, illustrations, characters, and shapes can create an endless world of opportunity in design. A simple square can be slightly rotated and placed in the bottom right corner and upper left corner of an image, creating a unique design. Even if you can't find proper graphics, it's easy to create the sun, clouds, clocks, you name it, 
using multiple shapes. I'm not kidding when I say there's so many possible creations out there, you just have to think outside the box to build them. Or, VizMe plug again, you can go to VizMe and find everything you need already made for you. And our last tip before diving deeper into how VizMe can help, your blog graphics should match the content of the blog. The colors should match, the fonts should be similar, they should follow a similar theme. You created the graphic, so make it appear that way. If your blog is green and yellow, don't create a graphic that's dominantly blue and red. It's a simple rule, but easy to get away from when the creative juices start flowing. Okay, you thought we were done with the VisMe plugs, huh? No chance. VisMe has a proven six-step process that will help you create blog graphics just like the professionals, but in less time than you could ever imagine. Follow along. You already heard me say that you should create a reusable template. With VisMe, there's dozens already made for you. There's new templates being made constantly, so even if there wasn't something a few months ago, try again today. Browse our collection and see what you can find. I can guarantee that there's something for you. Once you've found the template you like, dive into the color scheme and adjust it to match your brand. You'll find a few preset color palettes that we found are popular, but again, you can adjust how you see fit. The button to help is in the upper mid-left portion of the screen. A color wheel will also be at your disposal to help you find just the perfect color. And when you want to come back and edit another template with the same colors, I suggest looking into getting a business plan. With one, you can save your brand kit to preset your color palette to the proper colors every time. The next thing you'll want to do is input the text you want to use and adjust the font. You can click directly onto the text that came with the template to edit it. VisMe has a vast array of fonts as well. And if they don't have one that exactly matches your brand, well, VisMe's brand kit allows you to upload your own fonts into the editor. Step four is when you get to input your photos. Again, if you don't have your own photography to choose from, VisMe has a library with literally millions of searchable options. Once you have the right one, add a filter or color overlay, as we see here, to allow your text to really pop over a fitting background. You don't have to use just one photo either. A collage background is a popular technique. With step five, it's time to bring in those added illustrations and icons. These are your finishing touches that'll show you really put some thought and care into your design. Consider the pencil at the end of a script font like we see here in this example. To do this, click the graphics tab on the left toolbar and either type in the search bar or scroll through the options. Don't worry if the color doesn't match. You can change that as well as the size. And voila! Once you feel you have a completed masterpiece, click download in the top right corner to generate a high resolution image of your graphic. Then share away. The completed file is all yours to do whatever you wish. And scene. That's all I have for you today, at least for this video. We have more videos that you can watch in our channel if you wish to continue learning today. Subscribe to our channel to see what we'll come up with next. Thank you so much for watching, and at the very least, head to visme.com. It'll take just five minutes to see how we can make your life so much easier and speed up your work time. We'll see you back here next time. Please don't forget to hit that like button down below. With Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.